Jeremiah 28 and 8, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles, bishops, elders, great millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible. And who rule well, Shalom to all you Akiam and you Akwath, those of the hopeful elect that are seeking for salvation. We are down to the wire of this wicked, sinful kingdom. Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, which is ran by the Edomites, the so-called self-proclaimed white people. Which is why we're seeing all these different events taking place throughout the planet Earth. And as I read, Jeremiah 28 and 8 says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied. Prophesied means to say before. Both against many countries and against great kingdoms. Whenever you see a prophet or prophets on the scene, if you look at the history and process, order of things of how the Lord, uh, before he took down the kingdom, he would raise up prophets and those prophets would prophesy in opposition to the rulership that was in place. Right before it goes down, it says, and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. We are literally through the power and spirit of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. We are prophesying against America, Babylon the Great and the Edomites, uh, the Edomites uh, Empire starting with our, our teachers on down of war. We're telling you that World War Three is going to be a full fledged all out war that's going to end in nuclear destruction, which is why you're seeing all these nations build nukes. All right. Also, we're telling you of evil, which is bad times, continue to increase hardships, miseries, hell, death, destruction. It says end of pestilence. And we see great diseases, pestilences continuing to grow throughout the planet Earth. And uh, and uh, why is the Lord going to destroy uh, America, Babylon the Great, take down the Edomites rulership, you know, and establish the everlasting kingdom? Well, for one, it was told that the Lord would, that, that Yahweh Shai, would receive the you know receive the kingdom it will be an everlasting kingdom but another reason why too is wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth let me get second answers the 15th chapter it says uh in fact i'll start at one it says behold speak down the ears of my people the words of prophecy right the prophets are supposed to be prophesying if a man is not prophesying to the t preaching 100 percent truth according to the bible Warning our people and telling our people of things to come. This man is not a prophet. You know, get away from him. So the Lord is commanding us to go out and prophesy and warn his people of World War Three evils, the mark of the beast, which is RFID chip, famine, death and destruction to the nation of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, Native Americans. It says, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Verse two, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Verse three, fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. So you have Israelites who don't believe and they think and imagine evil against us. We have a demonization process about to occur on a whole full scale because this truth is getting to these people. And they, they really hate the truth, right? But this is a part of the process. And they imagine vain things or evil things against us when we're preaching the Bible. We see it all the time when we're on the street corners preaching the, 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 the truth. But the scriptures say, don't let their unbelief trouble us, all right? That speak evil and negative against us, all right? Verse 4 says, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. That's what you're going to see continuing to take place throughout the planet Earth is the, the unbelieving Israelites will be put to death. All right. The scriptures say the just shall live by faith. So those of us, Lord willing, 
we continue to have the gift of faith from the Lord. We're going to we're going to continue to see our enemies go down two thirds and these heathens. All right. While Lord willing, we continue to flourish. Right. But it, it's all going to work itself out. So niggas like Anton Daniels, Charleston White and all these other mockers, they're going to meet their they're going to meet the maker. At least they repent. Now, verse five says, behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword. Right. Which is war, destruction, death, famine. You already know what a famine is. No food or, or li limited access to food and water resources. Death and destruction. Now, here's the point. For wickedness, verse six, for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled. So we've seen the wickedness has uh, pretty much uh, made its Esau has made his rounds with his wickedness. He evils have increased. You know, wickedness is at all time high and the Lord is about to pull the plug. The Lord is, is, is tired of this, this shit now. All right. Um, which he's always been against wickedness. But Esau has served his purpose. He did exactly what he was supposed to do. He poisoned the earth, the food, the chemtrails in the air, the water, you know, much pollution in the, in the ocean. He polluted the minds of the people. You know, people are referring to themselves as uh, these different different um, gender Pronouns that they came up with, you know, you got man with man, woman with woman, all that stuff is being promoted. Um, they painted our, uh, our our land that's promised to us over in Israel. They call it Pink City, Tel Aviv. You know, these are these are wicked, abominable things that Esau pushed throughout the planet Earth. Uh, idol worshiping, you know, um, no order. No respect, no fear of the Lord. Wickedness has has ran its course. Okay, and the Lord is tired of this shit. All right, he's getting ready to pull the plug on this kingdom. All right, so we're down to the wire. Now it says, verse seven. Therefore saith the Lord, verse eight. I will hold my tongue no more, as touching their wickedness, which they have, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which. They wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Those of the righteous complain continually, just like Lot was vexed with the filthy conversation. The meaning that those in Sodom and Gomorrah at the time, where Lot was dwelling, he was he was angry and upset, which is a righteous mindset right be angry and sin not but he was angry with how these people were acting all right the freakism the uh homosexuality you know the way these people were acting is is uh vexing to a righteous man so the lord is getting ready to bring judgment or he is bringing judgment upon these people we are now beginning to move forward to the thick of things Right. So the righteous is crying, complaining continually. And who are they complaining to? The Lord. Does not the Lord hear the, the prayers of the righteous? Let me see. First Peter three and twelve for the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous and his ears are open unto their prayers. So when the righteous, those are the hopeful elect who are vexed with the shit that's going on throughout this planet Earth. Uh, mainly here in America, are complaining and, and sending up prayers. Guess what? The angels are taking those prayers up to Yahweh Shai and the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. So the Lord is hearing the just complain continually, uh, the cries, the sorrows, the, the vexing, vexation, you know, of spirit being in his hellhole and living in a kingdom that's full of wickedness. It says, but the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. So the Lord in return is uh, waging war against his enemies, those that are doing evil, those who are of this world, who promote uh, sodomy, who promote, you know, uh, pedophilia, who promote lewdness, covetousness, all these different things, idol worshiping. 
This is why destruction is going on throughout the planet Earth. And it should be. It should be. This place, wickedness is not going to last. All right. Wickedness is not a long term plan. All right. So we're down to the wire. Uh, I want to bring out this last scripture and I'm going to close out. Um, one of my favorites, Odie but goodie that we often bring out, Isaiah 55 and 6. It says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord and, we'll, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. So we're down to the wire. And in this process of destruction, the Lord taking out this kingdom and replacing it with an everlasting kingdom promised to Yahweh Shai. There's also a period of grace, all right, for those who are uh, seeking the Lord, repent. We got to continue to repent and seek the ways of the Lord, righteousness daily. All right, this is a perpetual uh, thing that we should be continuing to do, all right? And we have the opportunity to do so while the doors of mercy are still open. In return, the Lord is going to um, wipe us clean of our sins, all right, through um, Yahweh Shai, who we believe on, all right, beyond a deal of a lifetime, right, a deal that we don't deserve. The Lord is going to clean our sins or wipe away our sins if we seek him so we can be found blameless while the Lord continues to pound and destroy this place. All praises to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Shalom.